So in this video, I wanna talk about the no BS way to get over your fear of approaching and meeting beautiful women, especially if you're having a real problem in this area. I'm gonna talk about the one thing that most people miss that they really need to get over if they wanna get good at this. It's the thing that causes them to actually get worse if they don't fix it. So make sure to stay to the end to get all this valuable content. Now, with that said, let's dive in. With any approach practice, learning to walk up to meet beautiful women, you wanna give yourself a period of time to shift this area. You don't wanna be walking out looking for results the first First day in the sense of, wow, I seduced a beautiful woman and took her home. I got a date, I got sex. A lot of guys, they go out and they take workshops, they take programs, they take trainings, and they expect after they've learned a few basic things that tonight I'm gonna go pick up a woman and take her home and have sex with her. It's not that that doesn't happen. It's not that you don't even meet an amazing woman that first day. It's that for a lot of men, they're so anxiety ridden, so nervous, so scared, have so much stuff to work through that that's an unrealistic thing to expect. If you're close to or already fairly good with women, you just want to learn a few extra fine pointers, that's great. Then your nervous system, you, will already be ready to walk up to women somewhat expecting success. But if that's not you, be really radically honest right now. Be really truthful with yourself and say, I need to go through a period of desensitization to beautiful women to really get this area shifted. And that's what you're going to be working on in this video. That's what we're going to be talking about. So the first step that you have to get through is working on understanding what it is to be calm, centered, and focused while having energy in your body, while talking to a beautiful woman, enjoying yourself, not trying to get from her, but actually being giving with no expectation of return or no attachment to return. Doesn't mean you wouldn't enjoy it if you got something. Doesn't mean you don't expect it to happen eventually, but you're unattached when it doesn't happen. You see, most guys, when they're approaching beautiful women, they have a huge expectation of return. They have a huge desire to get a result, her phone number, her a date, sex, and they're focusing on the wrong thing if they have lots of anxiety. The first thing and only thing you should be working on in the beginning is learning to calm down, relax, and enjoy the human being in front of you, the beautiful woman in front of you, learning to appreciate her, learning to be turned on, learning to play with tension, learning to have fun for yourself. This is going to sound weird, but make it about you, not about her. You see, you think you are making it about you by putting all your attention on her and trying to get her, but in reality, you're making it all about how she responds to you. Switch that idea. Learn to make it about you having fun regardless of how she responds to you, that you learn to be calm in your body, centered and focused, embodying these masculine qualities regardless of how she responds. That's the first step. When you start to get calm, when you start to get more relaxed, when you start to be able to think, when you stop wanting and chasing and needing, that's the real key. If there's wanting, chasing, needing, or frustration, you're in the wrong place. Then you can start to have amazing conversations with women. Then it becomes about developing quality inter interactions that seduce, that become seductive. But until then, you're working on calming down. That doesn't mean something won't happen in that time. That doesn't mean you're not open to something happening. It can, and it often does. But in the beginning, you're learning to calm down. So for those first 30 days or so, let's evaluate your level of calmness. Maybe it's just a week and you're calming down. Maybe it's a day or two and you're calming down. I've seen that happen. But what you're going to do is every day at the end of the day, you're going to evaluate how much calmer you're becoming until you start to get calm enough that you can think. That's the key. I can think and I can feel the core of my body. I can feel my gut. I can feel my legs. I can feel my turn on. I can feel my heart while I am in conversation. And when I say hi, I can feel my legs on the ground. Hey, how you doing? My name is Brian. When I'm talking to her, I can feel my heart and enjoying her. I can feel my turn on for her. Hey, how you doing? My name is Brian. What, what's yours? Where are you from? Not, hi, uh, what's your name? Oh, where are you from? Oh, tell me more about you. There's a race in that. There's a want in that. And you want to get past that. When you've gotten past that, then you begin to work on quality interactions. And this is the important thing I want to talk about. For the first 30 to 90 days, depending on how long it takes you to calm down, I want you to start with highs. Go out and do at least 15 highs a day, 10 to 15 highs a day, and just walk up to people and practice saying hi. Get the feedback on how you're being. What you're going to notice is that when you don't feel your body, people don't want to say hi to you. They want to turn away. They want to look away. So as I walk by and I'm like, hey, how you doing? How you doing? If I'm racing, it's going to be more like, hey, how you doing? How you doing? Or it's going to be a hi, hi. And there's going to be a pull away or a push. When I start to relax and I start to open up and I say hi, it's going to be like, hey, how you doing? 
How are you doing? And I'm going to start to learn to warm up and become giving to these people, giving them a fluid communication, giving them some turn on, giving them some connection. And they're going to feel that and they're going to start to respond more and more. Some of them will just smile. Some of them will nod. Some of them will say hi back. But you're going to start getting about 60% responses back on, on, on an average level of traffic or even more as you start to get more comfortable in your body. After the highs, then you want to start stopping people. And so I want you to invite you into doing two stops to three stops a day, every day. In the beginning, you're working on calming down. So you might just walk up to beautiful women and ask them the time. Hey, excuse me, uh, do you have the time? And if you're racing, you're nervous inside, you're going to learn to relax and you're going to learn to calm. Take a deep breath, calm down, and then you're going to do another one. And you're going to do that every day until you start to get more calm. Once you can do that and you start to calm down a little bit, you're going to add a second question. Hey, do you have the time? Oh, really? Well, do you know where such and such store is? I'm totally lost. And you're going to start to ask those questions and start to calm down. And once you can do that and you can start to calm down, you're going to throw in a compliment. Hey, do you have the time? Actually, you know what? I just want to tell you, you know, that dress looks amazing on you. Or you ask the time, get the time. You know, by the way, that dress looks amazing on you. And you can feel the anxiety running in your body until eventually it starts to calm. And you're going to be like, hey, excuse me, do you have the time? Oh, by the way, that dress looks amazing on you. And then you can walk away. And you're going to keep amping it up a little bit at a time, getting better and better. And till you can eventually go straight up and go, you know what, I just had to stop you. That dress looks amazing on you. You're going to skip the time or directions or where's Starbucks. You're going to take all that out and you're going to start to do that. You know what, your hat, I love that hat on you. It looks amazing. It looks beautiful. Or damn, you know, you look amazing in those yoga pants. If you want to start pushing that, the energy a little bit, but only do that when you're calm and open. So you can start to get those successes in and the good responses. Once you start getting good responses from that, then you'll work your way up to uh, the next part, which is going to be continuing the conversation. You know what? I had to stop you. You know, by the way, you have a, a grace and a beauty about the way you move. Really, really beautiful, really sexy, honestly. And she might blush and you go, well, my name's Brian. What's yours? Where are you from? And you're going to continue and start to have a conversation. That's the progression I want you to work. You're going to do the highs every day, learning to calm down. You're going to do the stops every day, learning to calm down. And you're only going to add another element as you learn to get better at calming down and feeling the core. That's what this video is really about, learning to feel. Now, we have tons of videos on what to say, what to do, how to do it. And I definitely want you to check those out. I'm going to put some recommendations in this video of what to add next. But the first thing we need to get you to do is to begin to enjoy the process of approaching beautiful women and stopping them. And that is what I want to emphasize with this video. Good. So now you've got the principle. Calm down, learn to relax, do your highs, do your stops, learn to work up to doing direct approaches and being more direct. That's going to build your balls. That's going to build your tension skills. And once you can do that and start to get the lean in, start to get pretty good results, start to get positive results, I want you to start to immediately watch a video. You can watch it now just to understand the principles, start working towards it called Stop Hitting on Women Like This. This video shows these basic principles of what not to do and start to teach you how to be more present when you flirt with a woman. And if you start to integrate that immediately with this video, you're going to see a much better results faster. So watch that video right away. We'll put a link in here somewhere so you can check out that video. And the next video I want you to watch on top of that that will help you to understand this principle even more is how vulnerability attracts. So those two videos, stop hitting in on women like this and how vulnerability attracts. The last thing I want to do is invite you to check out my whole video series. There's five or six videos in the series on becoming really good at approaching. And it's the basics of learning to do these principles from teasing and bantering to vulnerability, to connection. You put all this together within a short period of time, you are going to radically shift your ability to stop women on the street and to get to know them. But give yourself the time. Learn to calm down, learn to get focused, learn to feel your body, learn to be more embodied, and then apply all these principles and your life will begin to change. There's a lot of information here. Take it in a bit by bit and absorb it slowly. Hopefully you like this video. And with that said, remember, 
Only the confident really live. I'll see you in the next video. I want to invite you to check out my ebook, The Art of Fearless Seduction. This is a, a, a simple little read that can radically shift your life. It uh, has all the principles of being an attractive man, not doing things that are attractive, but being an attractive. What it is to be grounded, what it is to be turned on, what it is to have a heart connection, vulnerable, what it is to play with tension, what it is to create a container, all the things that make you attractive before you even say a word. So if you've been saying and doing all the right things and none of them have been working, it's probably because who you're being under the surface hasn't shifted yet. And that's what this book is about. It's to help you make that shift in that area. Click in the link in this video and get a copy today.